All right, so I know you guys probably want my, you know, thoughts on the whole Zenkai thing. They've essentially made it so that you could get a whole Zenkai level within one multi-summon. I mean, you're guaranteed a minimum of 800, but you're likely going to get the 100 Awakened Z power every time since it has a 72% chance of appearing. It, getting a full multi of 100s, which means getting 1,000 in one multi is very possible. So, realistically, free-to-play players can still get Zenkai 1. However, the idea that we now have to spend crystals at all for Zenkai 1, I think, is the problem here. A lot of people seem to be overlooking that. It's just like, oh, well, I mean, it doesn't cost anything to get Zenkai 1. Here's, here's the difference between free-to-play and pay-to-play. We don't have the luxury of being able to just drop a thousand crystals whenever we want. If we did, free-to-play players would not complain as much. Even just a thousand crystals is a lot for us. Because for, there's, there's this weird thing that, um, that a, a lot of people want to tell you that they give out 10,000 crystals a month. They don't give anywhere near that. I actually counted all of it. I, I counted... Everything that 100% of the player base has access to throughout a month, obviously excluding story, story events, and, and past events, 100% of the player base has access to everything new that comes out month per month. You have access to Ultra Space Time Rush twice, which gives you 1,000 crystals. If you do the daily missions every day, that gives you 1,050 crystals. So that's 2,050 crystals. The PvP missions, now I'm not including the PvP rewards because top 10k is top 10k. That doesn't apply to 100% of the player base. That accounts for the top 10,000 out of millions. So I can't include that as, you know, crystals that the game gives you because one, it doesn't necessarily give it to you. And two, it's not given to everybody, so that doesn't even count. So the PvP missions, however, anyone can do that, and it gives you 200 crystals. All right? So that's what? 2,250. The adventures. There's usually at minimum one, uh, one adventure thing per month, which usually gives you 100 crystals. There's 2,350. When there's not a Zenkai unit out, co-op will normally give you around 300 crystals. Like three or 400. I'll say 400. I don't exactly remember if it's three or four. You know what? Just to give the game the benefit of the doubt, we'll go 400. All right? We'll go 400. So that's what? 2,750. I think my math is still right. <laughs> and then you have the uh, 50 battle events. That don't come out every single month. Those are every other month because every other step up banner has a 50 battle event att attached to it. So that's more of an at maximum value. But just for the sake of argument, we'll include it. That brings us up, that brings us up to 3,000. I want you to notice I bring up monthly missions later. Don't worry. I didn't forget. Well, I did, but shut up. We've only grasped one third of that imaginary 10,000 crystals. Then there's a whole bunch of miscellaneous Z missions, such as the login ones, that will usually get you about 40 every month. 40, 40 well, it's, I think it's like 20 actually. 20 crystals, is it? For every 10 days? So th that's what, 80? Unless you so happen to land on a 100-day thing, and that in which case you get like 50 crystals. But on average, you'll get like 80 crystals out of that. We still haven't even breached 3,500. I don't know. No, we have. I'm stupid. <laughs> but we, have, we still haven't even breached 4,000 yet. And um, that's it. That, that, that's, that's literally it. You can include the challenges for the 50 battle event. All right, that's another, what, 300, I believe? Another 300, 400 crystals? We're still not even halfway to, to this imaginary 10,000 number, though. I don't know where this 10,000 figure came from, but it's impossible to get 10,000 crystals month to month 
unless you have access to story mode. Story mode is the only thing that will allow you to get 10,000 crystals within a month. Outside of that, it is actually impossible to get even half of that 10,000 figure within the 30-day period in Dragon Ball Legends. Even during this anniversary, you have not had access to 10,000 crystals within a 30-day span. So I have no idea where that 10,000 uh, where that 10,000 crystal figure even comes from. So now that I've thoroughly debunked that BS, which was going to be its own video, but I felt like it, it does have something to do with this. So I figured, why not? Let's combine, make it a two for one special in this bitch. One thousand. So, so we we've established we get around four thousand crystals. At 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 absolute at your absolute max, the absolute max you will ever be able to get within a month. Excluding PvP is around 4,000 crystals, is just over 4,000 crystals every single month. Those 4,000 crystals you need to save for the big banners. You cannot afford to be chucking one, two, three thousand crystals into Zenkai units. Sure, if you really want that Zenkai unit, you can chuck a, a thousand in, into, into him or her. And, you know, get them the Zenkai one. But they've officially made it so that even if you have a unit at seven stars, there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to Zenkai them now. Because you now have to decide if this Zenkai unit you want enough to act or you think is good enough in the meta to actually warrant summoning for. And if so, spend all. Just spend all of it. You might as well. Even though that'd be stupid. It's one unit. It's... The free-to-play option is going to be completely gone. And the fact that people... Like, they're upset at the fact that the free-to-play option is gone, but I don't think they understand just how detrimental that is. Before, free-to-play players still had access to every Zenkai in the game, provided they had that unit at seven stars. Now, even if you have a unit at seven stars, you don't have access. Because what if you don't have any crystals left? What if a Zenkai unit comes out right after a big banner comes out? Then what? Well, you're just gonna, just gonna sit on your hands and wait two weeks for you to be able to grind up a thousand crystals? Because the, the fastest way to do it is through Ultra Space Time Rush. You do it, get your 500 then, you wait two more weeks, get your 500 and get another 500 then. Now you can summon, hope you don't get unlucky and pull a 70, and try and Zenkai this unit in one multi. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely stupid. Well, even if you do get a 70, you'll still get it because you get 100 Z power just for doing the multi. So you need like five 70s in order to screw yourself out of it, I think. But either way, the fact that this is an option, the fact that the free-to-play option is gone at all, it doesn't matter. If these multis all cost 100 crystals, I would have been like, screw it. Screw it, all right? Take the damn missions. I, I, I can spare, you know, 300 crystals to get this full to Zenkai 3. I don't, I don't care. Hell, even 200 crystals. I wouldn't have mind. I wouldn't have minded 250. 250 crystals. I'll do four multis. To, uh, I'll, I'll spend a thousand crystals for Zenkai Four. Screw it. But not Zenkai One. I'm not going to spend a thousand crystals for Zenkai One. And they've made this environment where Zenkai units really aren't that usable unless they're at Zenkai Seven, because that's when you unlock all of the boost panels and abilities. With only having access to the updated versions of their old kits and one boost panel. The units aren't as good. Like, Zenkai 7 Goku is actually really good. Zenkai 1 Goku has never been used for anything but bench. Zenkai 7 Goku Black is really good. Zenkai 1 Goku Black never has and never will be more than just bench. The only true menace of a Zenkai 1 unit that has existed has been Boo. 
And the only reason he was as monstrous as he was is because of the team that supported him. He, by himself, at Zenkai 1, is not that hard to manage. Even Beerus is not that great at Zenkai 1. He is a Zenkai 7 unit. All of the units they want you to have at Zenkai 7. And they've made it easier for people who already put money into the game to Zenkai 7 a unit. But for the free-to-play players, it's no easier. In fact, it's harder because now you have to make a decision on whether or not you want to Zenkai this damn unit or not. And with only maybe 4.5k crystals a month... You're not going to be able to summon for Zenkai units, summon for like the nine different banners they release in a month, be able to upgrade equipment because that, that crap costs crystals if you don't have a lot of slot removers either, um, be able to refill your energy because a lot of people don't have access to you know an unnecessary amount of energy tickets, so a lot of people use crystals for that as well. There are a lot of things that you need to be, that you need crystals in order to do. Adding more things you need crystals in order to do is not what the game needs right now. The game either needs to start giving more crystals or start giving you more for those crystals. And yes, you are getting more than you were before. If they had kept the multi at 300, I wouldn't have had a problem with this. 300 is manageable, right? If you had these rates... With that Z power off of 300 crystal multis, no issue. I wouldn't be making this video. It's the fact that they now cost 1,000. 1,000 crystals is very hard to come by. I can, I can get 300 crystals in under a week. 1,000? No. It takes, it takes a minimum of two weeks to get 1,000 crystals because there's no way you're going to complete all of the co-op missions. There's no, there's no way you have the patience to complete all the co-op missions within a day. It's not possible to complete the adventure missions in less than a week. Well, in less than like maybe four or five days. You physically can't do the daily, all, all daily missions, like a month's worth of daily missions. Also, I forgot about the monthly missions. Those add another 200. Like I, I knew I was forgetting something. They, I, I forgot about the monthly missions. Those add another 500 crystals. Which is where my four hundred, which is where my four and a half k figure comes from. It's like I, I knew, I knew how many crystals you got. I, I knew I was forgetting something. Monthly missions; those give you another five hundred, I believe. So that that's where the four and a half k figure. That's how we jumped up from like three point six to four and a half k, <laughs> from miscellaneous Z missions and the monthly missions. That's that's where you get that. You don't, you, you don't have the crystals to be doing this crap. And they shouldn't have done this. It's, it's, it's that goddamn simple. They shouldn't have done this. Also, thanks for releasing this unit during a time where Vegito Blue is the best, is the best unit in the game's history. Thanks. I, I, I appreciate that, pieces of shit. Also, Legends Limited Z Power that you talked about like six or seven months ago is still under development. Literally, all you have to do is take the multi Z Power you already have, make it usable for Legends Limited units, and implement it into the game. What, what's so goddamn hard about it? I mean, we already know it's going to be a premium thing. We already know you're going to have to pay for it. Like, any free-to-play player that looks at that better not get excited because I can almost guarantee you it's going to be a premium thing that you have to pay for. So, all in all, this update seems like total shit. It does. It seems like total shit. There's a few good things in here. Everything right here, a bunch of quality of life changes, that's fine. I got no issues with all that stuff. But as a whole, this update is going to be shit. It's going to be pure shit. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs>